Welcome to Concert Hall. Concert Hall, presenting the world-famous Rote String Quartet, the return engagement of Marian Anderson, and your Concert Hall host, Lionel Barrymore. Thank you, thank you, and welcome once more to Concert Hall. Our guests tonight have a wonderful program for you, one which I'm sure you'll enjoy. The Rote Quartet is a relatively new organization, and yet it isn't. Uh, three of its members were, until recently, associated with the famous Lena Quartet. So when Ferry Rote, their first violinist, replaced Mr. Lena, the Lena Quartet became the Rote Quartet. <laughs> Simple, isn't it? Or perhaps you're more confused than ever before. Well, anyway, for the first time on a concert hall program, you'll hear some chamber music at its finest, and the Rote Quartet's here to play it for you. So let's get started. The musicians are coming onto the stage. They're seeing themselves now, and we hear the melodious first movement from Mozart's Quartet in G major.
Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Now, our next guest needs no introduction, for she's been with us here before in concert hall, and besides, she's one of America's best-known artists. Marian Anderson has sung all over this country and in Europe, and your requests have brought her back with us. Here she is now, ready to sing for you Divine Justice. Marian Anderson.
Thank you, Mary and Anderson. Now, this calls for an encore, but before you decide on your next number, I'd like to tell you, men, about a letter I received from one of you the other day. It seems that Private Alfred B. Gardner, APO 709, who, by the way, requested the Borodin String Quartet, which you'll hear later as the closing selection on this program, is not only concerned with the music on concert hall. Like probably most of you, his post-war life concerns him deeply and he's giving it a lot of thought. He wrote me something that I thought was mighty interesting for all of you, and mighty important, too. He says... You know, Mr. Barrymore, I was worried for a while about the financial situation when I get back home to civilian life. But a couple of months ago, I discovered the Army Savings Plan. Now, I can deposit as much as $5 at a time, and after six months, it draws 4% interest. I've got a deposit book to show how much I've put in, too. I won't have to worry now about ready cash when I get back home. Now, I think Alfred's smart. Yes, sir, very smart. I think all the boys in the armed forces would be mighty smart to deposit money under the Army Savings Plan or, or whatever plan their branch of the service offers. Believe me, it takes a lot off your mind if you don't have to worry all the time about the future. Well, let's get back to our concert hall program. Here's Marion Anderson again to sing for us that promised encore. This time she's chosen the beautiful spiritual I was there when they crucified my Lord.
Thank you, Mary and Anderson. And now, to continue our concert, the members of the Root Quartet bring their fine instruments onto our stage once more. Fine instruments indeed, including a genuine Stradivarius cello. Its owner, Imre Hartman, told me a very funny story about that valuable cello. Seems that when the quartet played in Ireland, they were advised to declare their instruments to the customs officer at only five pounds value each since they didn't intend to stay in that country. So, at the customs, each member declared his violin or, or viola for five pounds. Imre Hartman did the same for his cello, which is a museum piece and worth probably $25,000. Well, the customs inspector surveyed the cello minutely and then, raising one eyebrow, said solemnly that he thought it should be declared for six pounds because it contained so much more wood than the rest of the instrument. Well, here they are, the Roth Quartet, playing at the request of Private Alfred B. Garda of APO 709, the famous Nocturne from the String Quartet by Borodin.
Thank you, gentlemen of the Rope Quartet. And thank you, too, Marion Anderson, for a fine performance. And that's all for this time, gentlemen. I'll be back soon, though, with another program from Concert Hall. Meantime, don't forget to write me if you have a favorite artist you'd like to hear on Concert Hall. Good luck to you all, and goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Barrymore. And men, why not take advantage of Mr. Barrymore's suggestion? Just write him a letter with your request addressed to Concert Hall, Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. This is Ken Niles adding his good wishes to you. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service. Music